and welcome back to Ping Pong Flicks. My name is Chris Wong. San Diego Comic Con has begun. Oh, yes. I'm stuck at home. Sorry. But with the beauty of the internet, the beauty of Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you literally are almost there, but, you know, it's not the same. But I'll take any little nugget I can take. This picture was a day ago this is just to tease the preview event that was today where they actually open up the doors you can see all the hot toys you see all the toys the figures the collector items all the the promotional marketing material of justice league and it's so cool now when this first came out i'm like what that's awesome I, I can't wait to see what they are i'm pretty sure we've already seen it but you know a little bit of me is like maybe there's some kind of new stuff but this is really cool the hot toys figures of course there are seven figures here but this is batman that's batman 2 <laughs> batman armored uh so they're not showing us Green Lantern or some other seventh character really we don't know about. So Aquaman and his awesome suit. It's uh, very much more yellow and colorful here, especially in the light. It was uh, before the uh, movie filter. Batman in his armored tactical suit. Uh, the original Bat suit, a little bit more gray here uh, than before. Uh, this, I think, used to be darker. It must be the lighting here. Um, but has some yellow here and there. You got Cyborg here. It actually shows a little bit more detail on the way his arms will turn into different weapons. And I'm guessing this is a shield or something. Uh, it was said that he could have like eight different arms, you know. So it's kind of cool to see that T-1000-ish part of him. It's not just some Terminator, very exoskeleton. He can actually metaphysically turn into different things. At least his arms can. Flash suit. Yeah, it looks like the flash suit. <laughs> I can't really say. But why are they missing their heads? I mean, even the Aquaman costume. Like, is this before they actually took pictures or something? Uh, back here, you can actually see the mother box. I was trying to find that picture where you see actually see three mother boxes with three different designs. Three mother boxes with three different colors and three different designs. Probably of pertaining for where they're coming from. Flash missing a head, Aquaman's missing a head. You got armored Batman, I just realized that now on the, on the back. This is a cool little thing, I wish I was there to see it in person, that would be pretty awesome. This must be Cyborg's helmet and I'm looking at. The other mother box here, see how it's red? This one, and oh here it is, there's the other one mother box here, so. Superman, so he definitely is back. <laughs> Why wouldn't you not? think so but I guess this is a good reveal of Superman like I said some of these I've actually seen a preview of the hot toys I haven't talked about it but it's great to see them at the show a lot of people are mentioning oh look the suit is you know more colorful and I have to disagree it really is the same <laughs> it's the same they didn't brighten it up or anything because Joss Whedon's involved come on it's, it's practically the same they don't have time to do that I mean maybe in post-production they'll adjust it I don't know but I, I highly doubt it I mean it was just as bright as in Batman Reese. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman her you know I gotta say her face the way they molded her looks creepily real <laughs> like like real like I mean Superman is badass but that you know it, it's not as wow as this I mean she looks like she's really standing there <laughs> Uh, hot toys that's that's pretty damn amazing and then we also on the websites they have this called Batman as figs and I thought this was really interesting to look at because not only you have the Trinity um, I don't know what versions of toys this is um, is not as great looking as the hot toys and you see the you know the Batman blue and red is just like the Batman V Superman one um, but I want to mention some of this. You are you're looking at it right now. Um, this is Steppenwolf in the background with the rest of the team. Um, he's in the back. Of course, he's the bad guy, but you have a little bit more detail into him. And this especially is a lot more detail. I mean, it is such a different... It's a different look from when he was this in the Batman v Superman Ultimate Cut, that deleted scene. This has a little bit more girth. He's a lot more bigger, the chin and everything. The horrors just come up here like that. Um, so I'm not exactly sure. I actually, if I wanted to put two 
uh, versions them to together. I, I actually dig this version because he seems like a Goliath. Um, but maybe it just just brought too many more similarities to Doomsday or even Ares. I mean, this looks more like Ares, but he looks kind of skinny and small. I'm sure he's much bigger in the movie, and the toys not necessarily what the movie looks like. I mean, the Lego figure was like this big, and and Wonder Woman was like that big. So you know, he must be way huge. But look at the size of the bones here. But the cool thing about this, you actually see the boom tube coming in here with the parademon. So that that's so that's actually the movie. Boom tubes exist in this movie. They're not coming from a ship from a oh well, they're coming from a ship, but they're coming through a boom tube. They're not coming from outer space all the way from Mars or wherever they're coming from. You know, they're actually coming through a boom tube. They they're putting that aspects into this movie which i think is speaks wonders to the how dedicated they are to the canon dedicated are to the comics pulling a lot of those aspects could be a problem for general audiences is like i said earlier stepping wolf with the horns really looks like aries and i don't know if anybody will know that it's a different character and the non-nerd fans around here you know or the, the fans who aren't paying attention are they gonna know um and and I'm, maybe i'm giving them not enough credit but uh i just see evil man with horns you know there there are a lot out there and i guess that's the thing now the evil man with horns on a, it looks more human uh more like a person in this uh this toy and the way they're sh showing him here as opposed to the movie uh, version that was that came out in Batman v Superman Ultimate Cut how he looked like a giant demon uh, a giant creature feel you know fearful and intimidating if he's this size as opposed to this person then I can see that that this totally working and be more a little bit more hulkish in that manner but we won't know until we actually see it but just seeing that they are releasing these toys with Steppenwolf clear as day uh, I'm willing to bet that they're gonna they're gonna put him in the trail this Saturday at Hall H Justice League trailer they're gonna show Steppenwolf I am almost 100% clear on that um, and they need to show he's gonna have a little bit of a dialogue to show what he is gonna capable of doing what he's doing here on earth to set up why we need the Justice League it's kinda of like um, Avengers where Loki was talking and they're setting up this Loki is the big bad guy this is what he's gonna do and this is the people that are gonna try to stop him or Age of Ultron Ultron has this whole speech and whatever and he pretty much puts it out there that he's the big bad I'm here to do this this and that and the heroes these are the heroes that are come to stop me so I don't think it's gonna be like that I don't know if it's gonna be like that I'm just speculating that if they want to do a trailer revolving around who the bad guy is um, and show the team that that will stop him I'm thinking it's gonna be long like that and whether or not they're gonna show Superman at all I'm still up in you know, the air on that uh, I think I I think I'm actually okay and if they show Superman in the trailer as long as they don't show the actual part where he returns in it these are cool incredible all it does is just just hypes you up more for the for the movie hypes you up more for Saturday these are really cool tasty little nuggets to to chew on to look at no you can't say they're toys anywhere they're works of art great stuff Hall H this Saturday San Diego Comic Con is on now oh my god there's panels probably panels tomorrow on Thursday Friday. I don't know what. I haven't even looked at the schedule. I don't know if they're going to have King Kong vs. Godzilla, Godzilla King of Monsters. I don't know what I've heard of. They're not going to have it, but Skull Island literally had a tweet that to see Kong at San Diego Comic Con, probably just to highlight their Blu-ray that's coming out or has come out. So, I don't know. Power Rangers, what's going on? I have no idea. But just these, just, just go on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, it's got a lot of stuff, a lot of material to look at, and and just just 
bask in the awesomeness of San Diego Comic Con. I can't believe it's here, and I, I'm, I'm just working myself up to Saturday morning, man, and I'm sure you guys are too. All right, man, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.